My name is Tuba. Sure. Uh, I am I am from Kırıkkale. I am an assistant professor in Kırıkkale University from Turkey. And uh, I would like to start my presentation uh, with my special thanks to yourself and your countries. As you know, our country was hit by one of the most devastating uh, disaster of our era. Most of our citizens have lost their lives. Uh, we are, uh, we are uh, very sad for them. We are still mourning for them. And at that time, uh, we were supported by your countries. It was so precious for us. Uh, and we are so grateful. Thank you. And uh, let's start with our presentation. The name of our study is A Letter to My Teacher, Perceptions of Middle School Students and Pre-Service Mathematics Teachers to Us Practicing Teachers. In this study, uh, we are searching for the effects of uh, teachers on the learning from both the students and pre-service teachers' point of view. In our country, uh, learning mathematics is a little bit uh, a hinder students are scared of them and uh, we are trying to uh, we are trying to uh, hire we are trying to increase their motivation and concentration on mathematics learning uh, in order to support our uh, i mean in order to support our um, how can i say this in order to support our uh, aim we try to do a um, uh, search. According to this search, we have this plan, introduction, importance and rationale of the search, purpose of the research, method, results, conclusion and uh, suggestion for it. For introduction part, uh, students' success in the field of mathematics depend on their own interests and efforts. It also depends on teachers' ability to make them love mathematics and teach according to their level. Because students' positive and negative attitudes and beliefs about mathematics lessons are directly affected by mathematics teachers. I mean, most of the resources are uh, emphasizes the effect of teacher in the learning process. It is important to reveal how teachers are perceived by students as a result. Moreover, the realization of effective mathematics teaching depends on teachers' deep knowledge and understanding of mathematics they teach and their ability to use this knowledge with flexibility in their teaching tasks. In order to achieve this, teacher training institutions are expected to provide solid education so that pre-service teachers can teach mathematics by understanding and acquire all the necessary skills and abilities. <laughs> okay, it wouldn't be wrong to say that teaching style of the pre-service teachers will be shaped by both the teachers who take part in their education life and the practicing teachers. As it is known, the practicing teacher is the teacher who will guide the pre-service teachers within the scope of teaching practices required by the teaching profession. <laughs> okay, why we have done this research, the importance of this research? In the teaching practice course, pre-service teachers are sometimes in the real classroom environment as a teacher and sometimes as an observer. And they see how much the practice is compatible with what they learn in the theoretical courses, I mean, in the universities. Moreover, while teaching practice experience provide pre-service teachers with important teaching careers, the negative situations observed and experienced by pre-service teachers during this practice can negatively affect their beliefs and perceptions about the teaching profession. Uh, in this regard, it is a great importance to determine the perceptions and attitudes of pre-service teachers to our practicing teachers. Uh, I think the most important part of our, pro uh, our survey, research problems here, 
what are the perceptions of middle school pre-service mathematics teachers about their practicing teachers? What are the perceptions of middle school students about their mathematics teachers? How do middle school students and pre-service teachers' perceptions of the same mathematics teachers differ? In our survey, we have teachers and also we have preschool students, sorry, preschool teachers, and also we have students, preschool teachers and, uh, sorry, pre-service teachers and uh, students are on the uh, way of uh, evaluating part. This study, which was conducted to determine the perceptions of pre-service teachers and middle school students towards mathematics teachers was designed as a case study. Uh, the main and the most important part of this uh, survey is reflective letters. In this study, we have collected uh, our data through reflective letters written to six different middle school teachers. The study was conducted at a university in Eastern Black Sea region and middle school in the province where the university is located. 35 middle school pre-service mathematics teachers are in our study and also 105 middle school students are also participated in our study. In this study, uh, pre-service teachers and also students are taken a reflective writing skills course nearly for four hours in two weeks. And also three middle school students were randomly selected from the class in which the pre-service teachers did their teaching practice. Pre-service teachers also gave these middle school students a one hour training on reflective thinking and writing with the guidance of the researcher in accordance with their level. Later, these studies were asked to write reflective letters about their mathematics teachers. Pre-service teachers were also asked to write reflective letters to same teacher who is also the practicing teacher, I mean, who is on the stage. Thus, uh, data were collected through letters written by both pre-service teachers and middle school students to the same mathematics teacher. Participation is based on volunteerism as usual. Okay. Uh, for the other part, what we at what we seen in the first stage, pre-service teachers use addressing expressions such as "dear sir" or "madam," "dear teacher," while they are starting the letter. On the other hand, uh, it was observed that the students use expressions such as "my dear teacher," and also they uh, finish their letters. Uh, conclude. They finish their letters, letters with their good wishes, but uh, pre-service teachers use a little bit, uh, how can I express this? A little bit uh, criticizing way. After the reflective letters from pre-service teachers and students were collected, the analysis phase was started. Since the study was prepared in the qualitative research paradigm, it was analyzed in the qualitative data analysis program, program Mexoda. And also in this context, the researcher came together and decide on the steps to be followed for the analysis. First, the letters written by pre-service teachers and middle school students were coded independently by the researcher. Before moving on to combining the scattered codes, the researchers observed that the views of pre-service teachers and students towards the same teacher sometimes overlapped and sometimes didn't. For this reason, it was decided to comparatively examine the perceptions of pre-service teachers and students for six different teachers by using the clusters feature of the qualitative analysis program. After the independent coding of the researchers and that the incompatible codes were determined and consensus was reached. Okay, I think the, I think the most important bar, for, uh, part of our survey is here, the results. The other part is a little bit uh, boring for you. Okay, let's talk a little bit from uh, pre-service mathematics teachers' perceptions. 
When the pre-service math teacher's reflective letters to the mathematics teacher were examined, it was determined that negative perceptions of the service teachers towards the practicing teachers were considerably higher than the positive perceptions. In negative perceptions, it was determined that different from the negative perceptions of the students, there were also perceptions of communication with the teacher, positive and negative perceptions of pre-service teachers towards the mathematics teachers are presented in figure one. Let's look at it. Actually, when, look at, when we look at the text, you see the negative part from learning teaching process, contribution to the development of pre-service teachers, and also class management communication point of view. And also for the positive one, in a, at the same time, class management, attitude towards citizens, learning teaching process, contribution to the development of pre-service teachers. Please look at it. <laughs> it was observed that the vast majority of pre-service teachers stated that the use of materials in mathematics lessons embodied mathematics, for example, teacher which quoted PT per service teacher 25 said, in one of your lessons, you showed plus five to minus seven in the traditional way. However, it would be more understandable and memorable if stamps were cut out of cardboard and narrated with the help of an elevator. It has been observed that the teacher doesn't use materials, but emphasizes that mathematics can more understandable with the use of materials. Another type of perception, I mean, another type of uh, res result is that perceptions of pre-service teachers who gave negative perceptions about the learning teaching process is that teachers don't associate mathematics with daily life. I think in Anna's presentation, uh, she uh, put it in uh, his in her daily life, as I see. Pre-service teachers emphasize that it is necessary to fo focus on lessons related to daily life rather than exam-oriented lessons. In addition, it can be said that the fact that some teachers, even if they are a small number, make statements that will create misconceptions negatively affect the perceptions of pre-service teachers about the learning teaching process. Okay. As a result, it's seen that pre-service teachers have both positive and negative perceptions about giving examples from daily life. It was determined that negative perceptions regarding this issue were more than positive perceptions. Considering other positive perceptions of pre-service teachers regarding the learning teaching process, it's seen that focusing of new generation questions and using technology. However, it's seen that there are very few perceptions regarding these two categories. The other part is students' perceptions. I think the most important part of our survey, the most important part of, of our survey is as you see students' perception because they are our aim, target. When the students examined the reflective letters to their mathematics teachers, it was determined that the positive perceptions of the students were considerably higher than the negative perceptions. Among the positive and negative perceptions of the students, there are perceptions of classroom management, learning, teaching process, and attitude to our students. The findings summarizing the positive and negative perceptions of students presented in figure two, Okay, when we look at the students, uh, I mean, um, students evaluation, we uh, see more uh, positive, more, uh, I mean, relaxing uh, evaluations, both class management, attitude towards teachers and learning teaching process. When the positive perceptions of the students are examined, it is seen that the perceptions regarding the attitude towards the teachers stand out more than the other categories. In the letters written by the students, it was seen that while expressing the positive attitude towards their teachers, they drew emojis with hearts and flowers, 
with a childish way. Some students say that they, they knew themselves with their teachers and uh, that the teacher was always with students. And also it's seen that empathizing with the student and the personality traits of the teacher and his unique lecture from the majority of perceptions. Teacher's personality traits and also affects the student's uh, motivation and point of view to the courses. Students express the uh, teacher as being helpful, practical, energetic, humorous, and even dressing well. It makes, feel, it makes feel themselves a little bit relaxing in the learning environment. And it, uh, uh, this situation uh, rises their concentration and motivation to the course. Sorry to interrupt you, uh, but the time is up. So if you can uh, wrap up the presentation uh, more quickly, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think I, I can uh, uh, summarize the uh, survey. This survey is, uh, sorry, the survey was presented for uh, rising the motivation and concentration and success of students in mathematics course from the evaluation, from the point of view of uh, pre-service teachers and students. They have evaluated their teachers from a uh, classroom management way, from teaching way, and also from their attitudes. And also, uh, as uh, we have seen that pre-service teachers is a little bit critical, is a little bit uh, in the way of uh, teaching this, uh, sorry, showing this teacher uh, the way how he or she can teach the course, but uh, students is a little bit uh, a childish way. Uh, that's, is that all? Do we have any question for this? So do we have any questions or comments for this presentation, which I want to uh, thank um, for uh, sharing these results with us. Are there any questions? Okay. Uh, uh, I have a question. Okay. Um, Tukba, thank you so much for your presentation. Uh, I found it to be an interesting perspective to have the students write letters and that perspective I, I find to be really interesting. Um, in terms of future research, do you plan to, because I realize based on what you have said that this is a case study, do you plan to expand the study beyond the particular case um, or take this any further than where you have gotten? Uh, thank you. Thank you. I think we can expand this study because uh, for this study, we have chosen reflective letters because uh, we wanted we wanted to uh, we wanted both press, uh, service teachers and also students to express they, themselves. I mean, openly, without any hesitation, without any uh, fear, and uh, they can evaluate themselves also while they are evaluating their teachers. They can evaluate themselves too. I mean, how can I? Uh, how can I make uh, my uh, t uh, learning in a better way? How can I make uh, higher my uh, concentration and motivation to the course? I think it can be uh, used for other uh, students too. And also maybe it can be used in a, a simple way. We can put it to, uh, we can maybe teach our teacher, we, we can teach our teachers and also they, uh, implement this study in their courses too. It, I think this study is, it can be implementable one. Thank you for that response. 